Now, the Minister of Transportation, Saido Al-Khali, says federal government is committed to addressing the challenges faced by the railway services in the country. The minister said this while on inspection of train stations at uh, both Ebutemeta and Napapa. Mr. Al-Khali expressed concern over the obvious neglect of train services and insists all hands must be on deck to ensure the situation is reversed. Our correspondent, Ayomide Ajigbe, is standing uh, by uh, on the tour with the minister. Ayomide, bring us up to speed with exactly, precisely where you are and the update on the minister's visit. All right, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a rainy day in Lagos today. And uh, of course, you know, if you have to follow Nightmare's prediction, it's going to be raining for a very long time in Lagos. But that has not deterred uh, the work to go on. And of course, you know, government um, work, government um, impact on the people has to go on. And um, right now, we are in the train, as you can see. And um, I have uh, dignitaries here uh, talking about. Uh, the Honorable Minister for Transport, um, who has been on tour of some of the facilities uh, around Lagos State, from Ibutemeta and Nahiru to Papa, he has been checking around and seeing how to navigate um, the system and ensure that um, railway lines, railway system in Nigeria is up and running. So I'll just quickly run to him and, 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 and ask him one or two questions. Uh, Honorable Minister, it's been, uh, of course, like I said earlier, a rainy day in Lagos. But you have to come here to ensure that um, um, all of these things are well monitored. What have you uh, observed so far? Well, first and foremost, I'm in Lagos to evaluate to make appraisal of the performance of our contractors and of course the Nigeria Railway Corporation. We have just left a power port and we have inaugurated the inaugural movement of the wagon out of a papa to Ibadan. Uh, and very soon we are going to use three lines as it is. We are using only one line inside the port. There is a challenge of a custom building which we are going to liaise with the Nigerian Custom Service so that they will remove it for us to lay the remaining two standard gauge lines up to the end of the port. With that, we are going to evacuate, as it is, 90, 40 footer containers out of our papa port to Ibadan. It will give us the ability to decongest the port. So by the time we are able to lay the remaining two lines, we will have like 90 times 3, which means 270, is it? Containers out of our power port every day. All right. Uh, uh, one question that, um, of course, is bothering most Nigerians is, is it seems as if a lot of Nigerians are not yet used to the use of the, the, the railway. Uh, what will you be doing to ensure that um, at least the, the rail lines, the stations, the trains are being used by Nigerians optimally? We engage on thorough sensitization. Uh, because you have to sensitize people on the importance and of these rail lines, and I'm sure through sensitization we'll be able to achieve that. All right. Thank you very much. You've just heard from the Minister of Transport there. We are hoping that, um, of course, very soon, that Nigerians will be using the rail lines effectively, uh, the train stations and all of these things working optimally. We're still, of, of course, on this tour and... Um, Monia is going to be next. Thank you very much, Ibrahim Shita. Well, your TVC News, your media, you live for us there. Thank you so much for that reporting.